My name's Kayla, this is Cinnamon Peaches and Sage, and today I'm gonna be talking about characters we might see in Pokemon Z-A. We're gonna be talking about player characters, ancestors, fallers, and so much more. Let's start off with ancestors. As I said in my previous video, I believe that Pokemon Z-A is gonna take place in the late 1800s. Because of this, Hausman, who is in charge of Paris's urban redevelopment plan in the late 1800s, is going to be a very important character. But considering this is Pokemon, who is going to be the descendant of Hausman? I think the most likely descendant of Hausman is Lysander. Hausman and Lysander had some similar goals. Hausman wanted to make Paris a beautiful place to live and he was criticized for being willing to do a little too much to achieve that. Similarly, Lysander was obsessed with beauty and was willing to do way too much to achieve that. Additionally, on his deathbed, Hausman compared himself to an elderly lion. Lysander's ace is Pyroar, a lion Pokemon. While Hausman was not royalty in real life, he was a baron, so he did have elevated status. It would be very easy to make the Hausman character true royalty instead. Perhaps the Hausman character will be the brother or sister to the king. Speaking of the king, in Pokemon they're typically referred to as kings. In France at this time, they had an emperor. But anyway, who will be related to this emperor king character? Well, I think the most likely descendant of this king is actually N. N is very mysteriously an orphan in black and white, so we don't know much about his ancestry. He is, though, referred to as a king, implying some sense of royalty. Especially considering that modern Kalos doesn't have a king, could N potentially be the descendant of that line? Like Lysander, N is very tall, and while that's not enough to indicate that they're definitely related, I could see see that being a possibility. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about N when I get to Fallers. What about Professor Sycamore? Is he gonna get an ancestor? I think if Sycamore gets an ancestor, it's probably gonna be somebody who's an ally to Houseman. I don't have a ton of evidence for that for Sycamore, but I definitely feel like we're getting a Sycamore ancestor. The gym leader Karina, I think will be the descendant of somebody called Mother Pillard. In the late 1800s, Mother Pillard lived where the Tower of Mastery would have been in real life. She was known for making really good, really famous omelets, as well as welcoming people who came to visit what is in real life, the Tower of Mastery. Considering we know that the trainer that mega evolved Lucario is not from Kalos, more on that in a little bit, it makes sense that Mother Pillard might get very close with that character and potentially marry them, and then down the line, we get Karina. This also makes me wonder if we're gonna be cooking omelets and other food in Z-A. I think we'll get other ancestors as well, like the rest of the gym leaders, the Elite Four, Team Flair, and unfortunately for some people, the rivals. I do think we might get a Vincent Van Gogh character as well. Shout out to Professor Paquette from Twitter for pointing this out. Vincent Van Gogh did spend some time in Paris in the late 1800s. Considering the late 1800s is just after the time period of Pokemon Legends Arceus, I wouldn't be surprised if we get some returning characters from that game. One character we're pretty likely to see from PLA is Volo. One of the last things Volo told us is that he'll be back. So I fully expect to have a really, really tough battle with Volo again. Hopefully this time we're all a little bit more prepared. I think we're also gonna see Rai, the Lucario trainer, an ancestor to Riley. We know from the text of X and Y that the trainer that first mega evolved Lucario was not from Kalos. Since Rai would have existed right at the perfect time to be this trainer, and he's very known for having a Lucario, I would not be surprised if he's actually the first one to mega evolve Lucario. It makes sense with the text of the games because Sycamore says that mega evolution is new, so it can't be super far back in the history of Kalos, but then it has to also be older than Karina's grandfather, putting it right around the late 1800s. I know some people are gonna point out Mega Rayquaza. I don't think many people outside of the Draconids were aware that that was a thing, so yeah. I also know that people will say that since Rai is Riley's ancestor and Karina's ancestor has to be the one who does the things at the Tower of Mastery, then he can't possibly be the same person. But we did have characters in PLA who had multiple descendants. 
Jones. It's entirely possible that Rye is the ancestor for both Riley and Karina. Karina probably just looks more like her other ancestor than Rye, whereas Riley looks more like Rye. Moving on, we have our favorite traveling professor, Laventon. It's totally possible, given the time period and since he travels a lot, that Laventon could again be the professor in Z-A. I personally loved his character and would be very glad to see him again. Does that mean we'd get Legends Galar next? Cause Laventon probably ends up in Galar eventually, right? Next up, we have Adamant and Irida. The main reason I included them is because they are very popular characters, so I imagine that if they can include them, they probably would, though I don't think it makes that much sense for them to be there. Ingo, though, it actually makes a lot of sense for him to travel around and try to figure out more information about himself. And this leads perfectly into my next point about Fallers. Ingo was a faller in PLA, so could we get more fallers in Z-A? I think so, and it would be very cool if one of those fallers could be Emmett. With the time period of Z-A being so close to PLA, it's possible that this universe's versions of Ingo and Emmett can meet back up again. Like they probably won't have memories of each other because when you fall, you lose your memories. But since they're twins, they look just like each other. So if they saw each other on the streets, they would definitely have a conversation. Regardless of if we see Ingo, Emmett, or both, it definitely makes sense to have one of these characters in this game because at this time, Paris constructed its railways. Other characters who might be Fallers. Well, usually it seems like fallers tend to be rather obscure characters. We might get Looker, that would be really cool, but mostly I expect it to be a side character. If it's anything like PLA, it's probably one of the people we would least expect. Another thing I want to talk about with fallers is N. Some people have suggested that N in black and white is a faller, that he fell as a small child, and this is why he's orphaned. That actually makes quite a bit of sense. I wouldn't be surprised if N is the young child of the king and we actually see him fall into another time period. Keep in mind that at the end of Black and White, N travels to another region. It's been highly speculated based on multiple points of evidence, including the statues in Unova, as well as some dialogue in Pokemon Masters, that N goes to Kalos after Black and White. Why did he pick Kalos? Was he being drawn there because that's where he was originally from? Or is it just something to do with the statues of Reshram and Zekrom? It would also be interesting if N fell into Z-A. I don't know, N is just a very interesting character who has weirdly significant ties to Kalos, so it would make sense if we see him there in some capacity as an ancestor or faller or something. Speaking of black and white, Hilda and Hilbert, the protagonists of those games, are actually a possibility for who we might play as in Z-A. At the end of Black and White, when N travels to what is likely Kalos, the player character from Black and White follows him. That means that during Black and White 2, the player characters Hilda or Hilbert are very likely in Kalos. Could we play as them instead of Serena and Kalem? Could we fall as Hilda or Hilbert? In PLA, it was originally planned for us to start in present day and actually see the events leading up to us falling. We know this based on a location that's included in the game's code. Keeping this in mind, it might make sense if in ZA we actually see our character fall. What might be a reason that we travel through ultra space? Well, the characters in black and white were going to try to find N. If N were to fall through an ultra wormhole, it would make sense for the player character to follow after him. It would be interesting and kind of fitting for Pokemon for your rival to truly be your equal in every way. Being a fellow faller would make your rival just as interesting as the player character to the people around them. But that might be a total conspiracy theory. If I'm being honest, Serena and Kalem as fallers is technically more likely. And of course, we could just play as a character in the time period like Serena or Kalem's ancestor. I don't think we're gonna be playing as an ancestor though. I do think that 
falling from another time period into the past is core to the Legends series. Although since we've only had one game, it may be a little too early to say that. Final category of characters that we might see are immortal characters. I think the most obvious one that's coming to everybody's mind right now is AZ. I mean, the title of the game is Z-A, it's just AZ backwards. Not to mention that AZ used to be the king of Kalos is very tied to the ultimate weapon like it just would make a lot of sense for AZ to show up. Considering AZ wears modern clothes in X and Y, it would be really fun to see him in the clothes of late 1880s France. While we don't know with 100% certainty that there are any other immortal characters, a lot of people speculate that Kogita might be immortal. If so, it would be very interesting to see Kogita and AZ interact. Why would Kogita be in Lumio City? Well, Kogita's really into fashion and Paris? Fashion? I could see it happening. But anyways, these are all my thoughts right now on which characters we might see in Pokemon Z-A. What characters do you think we're gonna see? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and join our Discord Capsule Monsters where we discuss Pokemon theories. I hope you have a great day or night, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!